minds and what's happening in our nation. No one will stand up for the fear of assassination. So they strip us of everything. We stand there and just take it. I'm scared to make a stand a false flag operation. Research Illuminati. Find out by 9 11. You see, they line their pockets. Don't believe the lies they tell us. Find to seek the truth. Realize we need to do whatever it is we can to protect our livelihood. It's time for us to prove whether conspiracy or not. They owe some explanations to the questions that we got. What are the skull and bones? What is lying beneath? All these secretive means got you lying between your teeth. What's with the Bilderberg? I'm burning your effigies. I'm praying a Lucifer. How Satanist can you be? While all of the time praying you believing in the peace. Just to keep up appearances within Christianity. Come on. What's up, folks? Permanent Patriot. We're over here at GoddardInNutshell.com. All you say in this, stay right where the fuck you are. Don't move. Uh, Trey Smith. This, I mean, even the Illuminati love this guy. Seriously. Like, they got mad respect for him. This dude opened my eyes to shit you can't even imagine. Like, he literally gave my brain an IQ burst in about 10 minutes. And, like, when I first watched him, I had, uh, I watched him all day for, like, 24, like, 20 hours. And my fucking head hurt for days. Like, I mean, all around, you feel like, feel like it was expanding. I shit you not, man. And this dude's opened my eyes to so much, to, to an, a new level of shit. I mean, I don't want to be even having to cover this government shit. But I'd like to expose corruption and fucking scumbag people. Getting over on other people. And that's the way it works. Uh, throughout time. Is these people. There's some, they know there's something bigger. And because they have the information. We don't. And so. They keep playing this game with us. And uh. I don't know, eventually when we figure the game out. You know, it's like somebody knows how something works, so they make it work to their advantage, like evangelicals, evangelicals, whatever they're called. Dudes on TV that do the uh, church stuff. Joel Osteen and Benny Hen, them dudes. Trey Smith has destroyed them and this man he doesn't he don't like preach shit he just reads to you and shows you facts it's incredible how he delivers the information to you and like by the end of the shit you feel like you know the guy you feel like he's standing like he's in the fucking room with you I shit you not and the stuff that he talks about everything will blow your mind like seriously you might have to stop several times just to get your fucking thoughts in order your brain's having a rewiring that's what's happening and uh damn I don't know what to say about this dude except he's Sent from God. I tell you that. I I think uh, I even heard him say that a couple of times. He's a messenger of God. But I'm gonna post some shit. 
and uh, I'm going to send some videos out that you guys absolutely should watch. Uh, you may think it might be getting boring or some shit. Trust me. Keep watching that shit. Stuff will blow your mind and take you on a new fucking level of enlightenment. It might even give you a spiritual boost. It, it might give you all sorts of boosts. It'll certainly give you a new outlook in, on life. And that's why it pisses me off when these assholes hide this kind of information from us. That's another reason. Everything that I fucking do and post and put out, I wholeheartedly in my heart and soul believe in it. I wouldn't put it out if I did not. I've done the fact checking and everything. And I don't post anything unless it's fact. And if I did some wrong research somewhere and somebody finds a fallacy in what I did, I would hope that they would point that out to me in a respectable manner. And I would do the same for them. So, people are attacking each other for a reason. And the more evil gains foothold, the more people become evil, and the more evil grows. That's why people need to be positive. You gotta fucking have an open mind, man. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, these fucking videos will change your life. If you let them, you can't like forget about them and shit. For instance, the one, the greatest speech ever. I know a lot of speeches and stuff say that, but folks, this Charlie Chaplin speech is the greatest speech ever given. And what he said back then, I mean, the dude never talked. That was like one of the first times he ever talked. And that's what he said. Oh, I'm going to put that bitch down there. Don't worry about it. And I hope everybody posts it everywhere and sends it everywhere. That speech still rings true today. Very, very true. Play it for your parents. I bet you they'll fucking have a few vibrations in their body. So, another cool site you can check out, humansarefree.com. Got some cool Cosmos stuff over here. Not cosmopolitan, ladies. Don't get your panties in a bunch. Spirituality stuff, forbidden history, conspiracy facts, finance, documentaries. Awesome page. And the uh, information is so vast, and there's so many people coming out with it now. The truth is fucking spreading like wildfire. Soon it will be war. And we wage war on everything. Just went, yeah, I already, I did this video why, about why we wage war. It was actually written by Gary Larson of uh, 2 on the front line .com. And, uh, I'll get that out eventually. I think it's already out. Posted, but I don't know. I gotta go back to my videos and stuff. But folks, please watch these. I'm going to, um, link to the videos in the description because I don't want to violate any copyrights or anything like that. Another, uh, cool site here heavenawaits.wordpress.com this is where I got all the uh, the giants the stuff on the giants last night and so over here on the right there's just got tons and tons of stuff that you can look at truth damn it True, damn it. You want to 
want some more truth? Come to the real news. Oh no, the new <laughs> no, it's not me. Real news in Cold Wars. Oh no. See, this is why I ain't been watching InfoWars lately. <laughs> this is the site, tip of the spear, and the fight for freedom. Ancient secrets of the Hall of the Mountain King. See, Alex likes to stick to the government stuff. He never really talks about like, the alien demon thing or UFOs or space and shit. But he he has. But crazy man. All I can say is when the truth finally comes out, and it will, because all lies lead to the truth. To on the frontline.com. That's where they lead. All lies lead to the truth, and the truth is coming. Everybody will know the truth, and when it does, the people who didn't want to buy the truth from the tinfoil hat wearers are gonna feel like complete jackasses and probably end up in hell. So, I mean, even even if one percent of all of this information that us truthers were putting out there was true, wouldn't you want to fucking look into it? Take shit seriously. Killing us big time. I don't want to go into that shit though. That's another video. Folks, I'm telling you, these these videos I'm gonna show you tonight are incredible. I guess that's what I'm really trying to say here today. Sometimes it's okay to eat your feelings. Uh, maybe I'll just now fear. I'll just go to uh. Well, if you go to Permanent Patriot on uh, YouTube, uh, the playlist there. I'm trying to think of the name of it now. Uh, fight the good fight. I think I have it locked right now, but I shall open it. And, uh, if you want more stuff like that, just go there. Through some of my other videos, you'll find them. What's up, folks? Permanent Patriot. With some inspiring words. We must learn to live together as brothers or perish together as fools. Martin Luther King Jr. wasn't the first one to say that. Benjamin Franklin said, we must all hang together, or surely we will hang separate. And myself, along with all the other truthers, and just people who love America and freedom, are screaming the same thing. See, back then, they weren't screaming this. These were just quotes, just people talking. Now, we're up here screaming this to people, Yelling and swearing and this is not how it's supposed to be, folks. The level of manipulation is incredible. The technology, the ancient artifacts they've hidden from us. There's no telling where we should be as a species right now. Nobody really knows. Because they have fucking ruined it for everyone. I just don't see how people would rather go with Satan. No, everyone's praying to Satan now. Holding up those damn devil signs. Every fucking where you look. 
the rappers, the actors, the fucking congressmen, the senators, the government, fucking everybody with these damn devil signs. How come I don't see any signs of God? Has nobody chosen God? Everyone out there, you fucking repent. You do it now. You pray to that man upstairs every day. You tell him you want him in your life. You want your soul filled with his spirit. You want him to keep all that devil crap away from you. Tell him to protect you from that crap. It's garbage. You want change in the world. Tell him you want change. Tell him you want to be the change. You want to help others. You want to see the country do good. You want to see the world do good. Folks, when it comes down to it, it ain't got a damn thing to do with religion or race or what color you are. No. We are all made in the image of God. We are all one. And it seems pretty odd that every time we get to this point in history, no matter how many times the earth has started over, it always seems like it's these Islamic cocksuckers that come and fucking ruin it. Why is that? Islam is not a religion. You need to say hi to your neighbors. You guys need to interact more. Fucking talk to each other. Did you folks ever think that, you know, if you knew somebody, there's no reason for you guys to argue. In fact, it would be a lot easier to solve problems. So instead of just, you know, when you come out of your door, giving your neighbor the ne next door the fucking finger. Jeez, folks. Fucking wave. Say hello. Good morning. Good to see you. How are you? Be a fucking human being. I hope everybody can use these videos. I mean, I hope I hope they inspire how they inspired me. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing if it wasn't for these videos. I just I just want the world to be a, a good place for everybody to live. And it's these cocksuckers at the top, the power elite in control who are manipulating the whole damn world where people could just be going on about their day minding their own business folks I I would be doing that every day I'd still be watching sports who knows where my life would be every single day it is these people it is this system it is this news it is these people that put me in an emotional state and an attitude that I don't want to be in but I know I'm helping people out I know people are getting the message I just think a lot more people need to be getting it check out the videos God bless and carry on I can't begin to tell you how much faith I have lost this year alone but at the same time how much I've gained it seems like every time I lose it all and I'm like there's there's nothing else I can do there's no fucking hope something always comes there's always something there to change my mind about that fact People need to question everything. When somebody tells you something, take their word for it. Have some faith in, in what they're telling you. More likely than not, you know, the, the more ridiculous the story sounds, probably a very good chance that it's true. I've, I've been one of those people who I didn't believe any of this stuff. 
I wasn't a, you know, American patriot, per se. And, uh, you know, the stuff that they spoon feed you every day is just to keep you dumbed down. The sports, I mean, folks, they keep you at work every day, working a meaningless job where you struggle to get by every day. You get out of work and come home. You just want to drink a beer and watch some sports. And even that's manipulated. I mean, you don't know what is going on nowadays. There's no moral leaders in this fucking country. There's nobody in Congress, in, in government period, standing up for the people. I'm afraid Ron Paul was our last true American. And God says, you know, Noah, he had to wipe that everyone out because everyone's souls were corrupted. Everyone had become corrupted except for Noah. I see us going that same direction. And just like he said, as in the days of Noah, so it will be in the end times. Videos have changed my life in their own ways. I can't even express or find the words to tell you how. But Ray Lewis is probably, uh, I probably, you know, actually first looked at life and what it all meant and, you know, the big picture, I guess, was because of him. And I, I used to be a sports fanatic. I followed Ray Lewis his entire career. Uh, I don't know, the, the guy's had, I mean, everybody's had their ups and downs. But, you know, I just want to, there's so much more I want to say. And people just need to be there for each other.